Hi, it's Ashley Chucka, and today I am going over how you can add a return policy to your Square invoices. Okay, so if you are sending lots of invoices like I do in my business, then you are obviously going to want that return policy to be included on there and maybe any additional notes or texts or things like that. So Square used to have a section and I'm going to show you where it's at so you can include it there just in case. Um, it does send on a receipt, but it doesn't send on your invoices receipt. So from everything that I could find doing a little quick digging. It seems like these custom fields are now only on a paid version of Square, but I'm going to give you two workarounds that you can use uh, to send because your return policy, right? So the first is, let me show you where you found it originally. So if you go to account and settings, then business information and receipts, and then you scroll down to the bottom, this is where you will see that return policy and that custom text. So this used to be included on all of my receipts for my invoices uh, and it would be there. So then I had a subscriber actually ask me the question like, hey, it's not showing up. And that's when I did the digging. So what we came up with is Square says that they're working on it. What I found says that it's only in the paid plan. So here is a workaround that you can do. If you go to your home screen and then you go to your invoices section, then you're gonna come down here to settings and invoices. And then you're going to click here where it says default square invoice. And then come over here in the bottom right and click edit. This is gonna open up what your like main things that like all your custom fields on your invoice, how it's normal, like typically sends. Well, that was a little jumbled. Uh, so how it typically sends. So the first workaround is in here in this message section, this is, it pops up on every invoice that you send. So you could choose to include your return policy right there. Maybe you have your return policy on your website and you just wanna put a link to it um, and label it like here's our return policy. Uh, so you can include that here or just write out your return policy right here in this message section. This does populate on the invoice up towards the top, um, similar to your, what you're seeing here. The other workaround and what I chose to do was down here, there's a section where you can add an attachment. So I just took our return policy and typed it up in a Word document, saved it as a PDF, and then I uploaded it here. So that way it shows up at the bottom of all of my um, invoice receipts that they are seeing that return policy and they have it available to them. So those are two quick ways that you can add that return policy uh, to your invoices. And then if you had any custom things that you wanted to include, the message section is probably best for that, but you could also add an attachment to include those as well. So as I mentioned, this was something that worked seamlessly before, and I'm not sure, I know I did research at one point, probably should have done it before I did this video, but I think they may have changed it to be a paid feature for your invoices to have that custom added text, but this is kind of a workaround so that way you can still have it on your invoices because let's be honest, you need your return policy on there. If you'd like to see more Square videos just like this one, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the bell so that you get notified next time I upload a Square video. Also, if you have any questions related to Square or this video, make sure you leave them in the comments below so they can potentially be featured in a future video on Square, and I will see you in the next video.